Hi guys, how you doing? It's the message for this Friday, the 30th of October. Well, firstly, I hope you're all keeping well. I hope you're all keeping safe, taking good care of yourselves. Well, what a week it's been for Eastbourne Borough Football Club. Loads has happened, loads coming up, but let's have our usual recap. Well, since this last message, we played Dulwich in the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. That was last Saturday, and we won by a goal to nil thanks to a penalty from James Hammond. That then saw us into the first round proper draw on Monday evening, and we were ball number 72, came out possibly right about midway in the draw, and we now know that we entertain Blackpool, yes, famous old Blackpool here at Priory Lane. And we now know that game is going to be live on national television. It's going to be on BT Sport at 2.30pm this Sunday, November the 8th. So fantastic for the football club, loads to look forward to. I must say the people behind the scenes now have an immense amount of very hard work from John Bonner, the CEO, to David Blackmore, our chairman, right through, everyone's got so much work, Sean, our commercial manager. There's loads of work to get this uh, game up and running, and we now know we can very much look forward to that. But it was then back to our bread and butter, the league action on Tuesday evening, Tuesday, October the 27th, a tough looking trip away at Hampton, and the boys were absolutely magnificent. We uh, went to the game without Chris Welpdale. Welps, he's got uh, a minor injury, so missing Welps for the first time this season. But everyone really stepped up to the plate, and we won by two goals to one. Uh, the two goals scored by our captain, Charlie Walker. So uh, three points at Hampton and Richmond. We now know, of course, this Saturday, we entertain Welling here at Priory Game Lane, a massive, uh, a massive game for us uh, to keep keep the momentum going. Uh, won't be easy. Brad Quinton's sides, the winning manager, his sides always hard working, always tough. So we're going to have to be at our best again. But I can guarantee you the boys will be working because they want to be in that game against Blackpool. I have though with the players and the playing staff planned, planned all talk of the Blackpool game till after the game this Saturday. So we have uh, more of that as and when. So loads happening. Uh, players have been absolutely fantastic. I must give a real big thank you as well to my management team. Uh, I'm gonna give them all a name check. Obviously Sergio Torres, my assistant, Darren Teague, uh, Ben Austin, Sean Stewart, our goalkeeping coach, uh, Javier Smith, our fantastic physio, and of course our kit men, uh, Lewis Robinson and Damo, Damo Karczynski. Thanks guys, we're doing okay, but we could not do it without each and every one of you. You don't realise what a, a massive part you have to play, and uh, thanks very much. Well, it's got to that time of the week, and the support of the week is a young man who's been doing these recordings for me. He's Eastbourne Borough through and through. Uh, he's been brought up with the club. And it's a massive thank you from me personally uh, for all he does for me and for Eastbourne Borough Football Club. It's Oscar Peskett. Oscar, thanks very much. Top lad, Oscar. And uh, he's really doing such a fantastic job for me personally. So, just to recap, Welling at home this Saturday. Let's get behind the borough. It's still really troubling me that you can't come and support us. But it is what it is. I'm asking you once again to support us from a distance this Saturday. And to say again, our support of the week is Oscar Peskett.